Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum viewers. Welcome to our this series of videos in which we are uh, showing you how you can uh, use the uh, Microsoft Excel functionalities to track your missed salat and uh, uh, how to uh, uh, step by step uh, you can create a dashboard. You can keep on adding values uh, as per your requirement and uh, to serve the purpose for, for, for uh, to to have a customized solution for your own self, right? So uh, in our previous video, we showed you that how you can uh, you can uh, uh, use the event of the right clicking. Uh, before that, you know, we have been using the double clicking only and uh, or the workbook open uh, event. And uh, in later on, uh, we say, showed you how you can use the uh, right click event, right? So first of all, let's uh, uh, do the double click and you are uh, here and today is uh, 22. So what was the performing performance? What did we do on 21st? We double click here, we prayed five pairs, uh, backlog prayers here. Yeah. So our backlog is created, is uh, cleared for five days uh, uh, salats. Five days salat means five into six. Uh, that is 30 salats we prayed. I, I prayed and uh, uh, that has adjusted all the figures and now you have this okay so this uh, we we keep an eye on it we we want to reduce this number to zero uh, so so that there are no overdues left right so for this we have to work hard okay so excel is helping you how to um, uh, use uh, the excel functionalities and uh, update you uh, your status and manage uh, your day-to-day -day tracking of the uh, missed salat that is kaza salat and in our previous video, we showed you, for example, uh, if you have to uh, add some value in, in it. So there are so many events available. If you go to view code, you can see that you have used the double click event. This is the before double click event that occurs uh, uh, when you, you want to see the chart and you want to enter this some days performance, right? Uh, uh, clearance of the backlog. Mm, and the other mm, event uh, we use is the before right click so this was just uh, an example that if you want to add some value there are other events available uh, of which you can use uh, uh, right click before right click right and uh, you can use uh, before activate you can use uh, um, uh, at the time of activate and at the time of deactivate and at the time of change so this you have to use it very thoughtfully mm, otherwise uh, uh, if you don't do it uh, so it may uh, not bring your uh, your desired result right so you have to be very simple you have to use a simple approach and try to use so on the the uh, those events which do not get confused with other events uh, and other uh, functionalities which you have added into the system so you have to do it very carefully so uh, uh, we showed you that uh, if uh, you want uh, to add, for example, you select certain uh, rows and then you uh, right click as soon as you, right? so as soon as you do this, uh, you right click. So before right click event starts and it says you have selected four days. That's why this four is coming. Four days salars are going to be marked as repeated. Are you sure if you say yes, then it is going to uh, perform whatever the things you write. So this was just a revision that how you can add more values, more functionalities in your this dashboard. We are not going to carry on any on this. Uh, so we, we can remove, uh, if, if we do not want any certain event to work anymore, so all we need to do is just remove it. Mm. Next time when you uh, do the right click, it will not do anything. It is, it is a, it, it will be normal, right? So the removing of functionality is also uh, very easy. You can remove it, but uh, make sure you do not uh, 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 remove unwanted things, right? Um, so our double click even should be working. Yes, it is working. And when we do the double click, uh, this will take us uh, to add more uh, uh, clearance of uh, uh, of uh, backlog. For example, we we want to enter that we have covered all our seven. 1489 yeah this figure all these uh, are clear so what would happen this uh, will go away this will go away and you are at par huh? so you are in the equilibrium position now it is uh, means uh, all your dues uh, prayers have been prayed right that's it so so uh, this is how we do uh, uh, this thing and then what we do is uh, we we remove these uh, testing so that we does not get confused with the real data. So this is our status that we have 44,000 
as we have 7,494 days. Uh, sounds very tough task, but if if you keep a focus on it, that each day you are praying for, and you do it for one year, so in one year you clear the five years, in two years you clear the 10 years, and in three years you clear the 15 years backlog. That's very healthy sign, and uh, this is uh, uh, possible with the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For this, uh, we got to supplicate to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَاسْتَعِينُوا بِالصَّبْرِ وَالصَّلَاةِ means that you are, uh, uh, we are commanded by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to take the help uh, by means of uh, the sabr and by means of the salah. Sabr is the patience, yeah? The patience is the very, it is called, it is in the ذَلِكَ مِنْ عَزْمِ الْمُورِ the, the more we have the tolerance level we should uh, we, we are still we need uh, to supplicate oh Allah uh, uh, our tolerance uh, uh, be, uh, we, we be em empowered with the good qualities like uh, uh, like uh, uh, the sabr and the fama. although it is uh, uh, not advised uh, that we ask uh, uh, the tough things to happen to us but we always ask hafia Allahumma afini fi sami Allahumma inni as'aluka al-afwa wa al-afiyat fi dunya wa al-akhirah This is the dua, right? That we we need afiyah Allahumma inni as'aluka al-afwa wa al-afiyat fi dini wa dunyaya wa ahli wa mali wa walad So these are the same thing And also Allahumma afini fi sami wa afini fi basari wa afini fi jasadi wa jalhu wa risa minni So these are the dua which uh, we should recite again and again and with the, uh, with the firm belief in Allah that Allah is the listener of our thoughts of our supplication and he it, it's not a big deal for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to not only give what we are asking but also give what is better for us right and uh, one important thing we shared in previous video is that uh, uh, the people of old age sometimes have the complaints that they uh, they have the issue of forgetting they keep on forgetting so actually providing you the way so um, this is the blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah has given you this resource that would keep a record on you that how far have you done and how much is pending so you don't have to worry about what about the forgetting during the salah sometime uh, uh, in especially in the old age people they get the this uh, problem uh, they develop uh, such a shortcoming uh, in them that their memory gets weak and they even don't remember that what salah have been uh, have they been uh, uh, doing and they started and in the middle they forget what I am doing what uh, which uh, how many rakats have I performed? How many left? Oh, so this, so for this we have to refer to scholars and the scholars, the ulama. They give you the right tips uh, to do this. I share you with my uh, uh, way um, to overcome such a forgetting thing. Is uh, is that uh, first of all I supplicate. Uh, I supplicate to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala and, and before starting the salah, um, and then uh, then I I assign. Uh, the entire surah of uh, Surah al for example. Now, I'm giving you just an example. This keeps you remembering. It, this, keep you, it, this keeps you reminding uh, that which salah are you. When you are used to, that you know you have started with the Fajr salah of one day, right? The earliest Fajr salah which you missed, right? So these are only two rakah. So in first rakah you say, أَمَّا يَدَسَعَلُونَ أَنِ النَّبَيْ الَّذِي هُمْ فِيهِ مُخْتَلِفُونَ كَلَّا سَيَعْلَمُونَ ثُمَّ كَلَّا سَيَعْلَمُونَ so this is the first rakah. And what is the second rakah? When you get up on the second rakah, you recite the al-fatah, after al-fatah, what you do? Alam najalil ardam ihadam, wal jibayla utadam, wa khalaqna atum al wajah. Allah was blessed. That's it. And this is how you keep on dividing, assigning the, the next ayah for the zuhur, and then uh, continue it to the asr. And uh, in, in the maghrib, you reach to the inna jahannam kanat mirsada littaghina ma'abal labisina fiha aqaba. لا يذوقون فيها برزا ولا شرابا إلا حميما وغساقا جزاء وفاقا. In the second rakah of Maghrib, what you recite, for example, you recite uh, yeah, uh, followed by these uh, uh, إنهم كانوا لا يرجون حسابا وكذبوا بآياتنا كذابا وكل شيء نصيناه كتابا فذوقوا فلن نزيدكم إلا ذابا إن للمتقين مفاز حذائك وعنابا. So your Maghrib is coming. The last is your Aisha. So in the first rakah you say إن للمتقين مفاز حذائق وعناب وكاعب أطراب وكاس دكاقة لا يسمعون فيها لغم ولا كذابة جزاء من ربك عطاء حساب رب السماوات والأرض وما بينهم الرحمن لا يملكون منه كتابة يوم يقوم الروح والملائكة صفل لا يتكلمون إلا إلا من أذن له الرحمن وقال صبابة تسد اليوم فصل رك أن in the second rakah you say ذلك اليوم الحق ذلك اليوم الحق فمن and then you continue like that. And uh, uh, 
So, your all five days salah, uh, are covered, uh, using this uh, memorization of Surah Al-Naba. And, and when you start the next salah, you start again, Amma So, it means you are in the Fajr, right? and so on. So, this will overcome your, your habit of forgetting yourself, I hope. I have confirmed it from ulama. This, they have uh, appreciated it. One of the alim has, uh, uh, was kind enough, uh, uh, and he appreciated the idea, and he said, that's okay, it is allowed, you can do this. Okay? So to overcome your uh, deficiency of your shortcoming, of your problem of uh, forgetting during the salah. Right? So ever since I have uh, started it, uh, it benefited me. So I wanted to share it to my viewers. Whoever uses it, inshallah, Allah will help him. Okay. Thank you very much for watching. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.